Coach, let's talk Penn State, Michigan. I was anticipating a close game. I think a lot of people were. You were there. What happened? It was the, the score was not indicative of what really happened in that game. I didn't expect that either. But I want to focus on the D-line. The defensive line, they were displacing the offensive line. And you have to ask yourself, okay, how does that happen? The first thing is movement. If you have athletic people, you're going to see a couple of clips here in a minute. Mozzie Smith and, and some of the guys on the defensive line, they were moving so well, they were creating hesitancy of the offense line of Penn State. Once that gets set, then all of a sudden you start playing physical, and they're a big, powerful defense. This is a really right. good defensive front. And you can see the hesitancy of Penn State because of movement. What's that make you? That makes you somewhat soft right. or hesitant, right. and then you get knocked right. back. Well, that's what happened. What you do a great job at is telling us why. How about we do that? All right, Jerry, here we go. Take a look. And uh, the defense line coach for the Wolverines, Mike Elston, been around a long time, right. highly respected coach, and you can see he's, his guys are ready to play this game. So when coaching the defense line, which, once again, you did, it all starts. If you can create hesitancy among by the offense line, how do you do that with movement? Take right. a look at Mozzie Smith. By the way, I recruited Mozzie Smith. Didn't do a very good Not job. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a big, powerful, strong guy. He's a nose guard here. And watch, he's going to move to the viewers right here. And that creates hesitancy. First of all, it makes a play here. But for the rest of the game, you can see the Penn State offense line is hesitant because of the movement. So focus on the defense nose guard here. Right. Great hands. But it all starts. Let's look at his first step. His first step with that right foot, flat step. His hands, plays with his hands, sheds the offense lineman. Wow. There's nowhere to go. That's play one, by the way. Right. So right away, now the offensive line from now on. Play one. They're, they're going to say, I better slow down my steps because I'm going to have to wait and see where he's going. And what happens when you slow down? I think they're going to get right underneath their pads here in a little bit. Second one I want to look at is look at the defensive end, Jalen Harrell, number 32 here. This is, once again, early in the game. You know, they're creating all kinds of hesitancy by the offense line here. So he comes off the edge. He's an edge player. Look at the offensive tackle for Penn State. He starts to lean forward. He becomes a waist bender, which is non-athletic movement. But the whole defensive front is moving to our right. So you, this is a line stunt. This is a movement. Once again, for the how do you dominate the line of scrimmage? Number one, you start creating movement early in the game, which they did. Why? Creates hesitancy. Watch the offense tackle. Right. For the rest of the game, that's going to be in the back of his mind. This guy's going to obviously a great athlete on a lesser athlete. So for the rest of the game, it's been set now. Coach, let's look at the counter move, which is what? Being physical. All right, here you go, Jerry. Here's the complement of the movement, and that's what? Being physical. Uh, number 90, Mike Morris. And watch the uh, control. First of all, he sets the edge. For the viewer, what's that mean? That means you have contain, right. but you want to indent or move back the line of scrimmage, and that's exactly what he does here. Defensive coaches say no edge, no chance. No edge, no chance, and watch him play with his hands. Yeah. You know, that's a tight end against a big man right here. That's a mismatch. Right. This is a complete dominant play by the entire defensive front. There's nowhere to go. But as much as a physical mismatch it is, it's also a technique mismatch because look at Morris. Morris has the leverage. He's underneath that offensive lineman. The offensive lineman's got to have his shoulder square. It's short yardage. He can't turn like that because now you're letting the defense set the edge. So this is technique as much as ability. That, to me, is coaching. Yeah, That, right, to me, is right, coaching. Right, you, right. Know, the, you know, the – the coach didn't make him six foot six, two hundred ninety, whatever he is. I'll tell you what Mike Elston did, though. He's teaching this technique. Mike Elston got him in that body position. All right, Jerry. Here our third quarter. Remember the residual effects of movement is what the offense line plays tentative. Right. They don't come screaming off the ball. There's absolutely no movement by the Penn State offense line. This is a stalemate. Stalemate means the defense line wins. I want to focus on number twenty six here, Rashawn Benny. Watch what happens here. He's going to get double teamed. He focuses on the guard. Right. Watch him pick up. That's probably a 320-pound man. He's throwing into the A-gap. You talk about being physical. This is all day in Ann Arbor. So this is a well-coached, strong defensive line for the Wolverines.